Friday, the 19th of August, 2022. First reading. Reading from the book of Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord was laid on me, and he carried me away by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of a valley, a valley full of bones, who made me walk up and down among them. There were a vast quantity of these bones on the ground, the whole length of the valley, and they were quite dried up. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, You know, Lord. He said, Prophesy over these bones. Say, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord says this to these bones, I am now going to make the breath enter you, and you will live. I shall put sinews on you. I shall make flesh grow on you. I shall cover you with skin and give you breath and you will live and you will learn that I am the Lord I prophesied as I had been ordered while I was prophesying there was a noise a sound of clattering and the bones joined together I looked and saw that they were covered with sinews flesh was growing on them and skin was covering them but there was no breath in them he said to me prophesying to the breath Prophesy, son of man, say to the breath, the Lord says this, Come from the four winds, breath, breathe on these dead, let them live. I prophesied as he had ordered me, and the breath entered them. They came to life again, and stood up on their feet, a great and immense army. Then he said, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They keep saying, our bones are dried up. A hope has gone, we are as good as dead. So prophesy, say to them, the Lord says this, I am now going to open your graves. I mean to raise you from your graves, my people, and lead you back to the soil of Israel, and you will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and raise you from your graves, my people, and I shall put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I shall resettle you on your own soil, and you will know that. I, the Lord, have said and done this. It is the Lord who speaks. Responsorial Psalm Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Let them say this, the Lord's redeemed, whom he redeemed from the hand of the foe, and gathered from far off lands, from east and west, north and south. I give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Some wandered in the desert, in the wilderness, finding no way to the city they could dwell in. Hungry they were and thirsty, their soul was fainting within them. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress, and he led them along the right way to reach a city they could dwell in. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, he fills the hungry with good things. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Hallelujah. Gospel Reading from the book of Matthew when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question. Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. Gospel of the Lord.